University of Maryland students, faculty, and staff can learn more about how to prevent sexual misconduct on campus. And this Thursday, the Student Government Association will hold an event called Reclaim the Red Moving Forward. Here to tell us more about it is Elena Lavon, and she is the director of the Student Government Association's Sexual Misconduct Prevention Office. And thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, first off, tell us a little bit about what the red zone is. So the red zone is the period of time between August and Thanksgiving break when students are most vulnerable to sexual assault on campus. Um, so that's when 50% of sexual assaults are committed against college students. So now, who really is most vulnerable? Because I've heard about this from other college students. Who's most vulnerable during this first semester? Yeah, so the people that are most vulnerable are typically freshmen and sophomores and people that are new to the campus, just because they might not have a support system yet. They might be experimenting with drugs and alcohol for the first time. Um, and so that's not to say that those people are necessarily to, that those people obviously aren't to blame for, for those kinds of things, but it just means that um, they might be in situations where that might be happening at a higher rate. When you talk about reclaim the red, it's mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out, are we talking about a particular yeah. time period? Yeah, so what, the whole point of this campaign is that the whole idea of preventing sexual misconduct, it sounds like this big, scary idea. Um, so one of the, the points of the campaign is to hone in on this one specific time in the year um, when students are really disproportionately affected by this and to use that time to educate students and to really focus in on this issue during this time. And that time period is? Between uh, when students get to campus and Thanksgiving break, so that beginning of, of the first semester. Mm -hmm. So tell us some more about the vulnerabilities of students, particularly those who come to the University of Maryland. It's a huge school who yeah. may be from small towns, who may be from far away, or even those, you know, are just getting out of high school and are just new to the college campus life. Yeah, so it can be it can be really hard, um, especially when, when students are coming into such a big school, when they, they don't necessarily have those support systems, um, they're trying to figure everything out. Um, it just it, it creates situations where people people might be like doing new things, um, not have that support. So um, one of the things that we're trying to do is to not just teach students about this, but just show that there is support for students on campus, that this is an issue that this campus cares about. Um, I've told people we've been tabling at, at one o'clock in the morning by the bars and, and the fraternity houses, and one of the things I've told people is, you know what, even if people don't stop and talk to us, they're still seeing that we're talking about this, we're out here talking about consent, we care about this. Um, so I think that that's something that's really important in that first period of time when it comes to that vulnerability, is making sure that students know that, that they have that support and those resources on campus. You're trying to get clubs involved, and I understand you have a contest. Yeah, yeah so we, we just started what's called our Red Zone Club Contest. So student groups can win $500 by participating in one of our Red Zone activities. So they can um, participate by posting a picture of their group in all red on their social media, they can table and talk to students about sexual misconduct prevention on campus. Um, they can invite somebody from my committee to come talk to them about, about sexual misconduct on campus and, and how we can stop it. Um, there's a couple other things they can do, but basically they'll get entered into a contest to win $500 for their student group. So we really want to give student groups a chance to take the conversation into their own hands, which is something a lot of groups aren't necessarily comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So that's something we really, we really want to encourage them to educate themselves and to try to do. Mm -hmm. And are you encouraging, this is campus-wide, the uh, Red Zone contest? Because it's not just the freshmen. You yeah. need to educate everybody, the upperclassmen Definitely. as well. Is that right? Yeah, so we've been, we've been really trying to hit everybody. We've gotten a bunch of dance groups involved. We've gotten Greek life involved. We've gotten, we've gotten all kinds of groups involved. I think we have somewhere around 40 groups that, that have participated at this point. Um, so that's been really exciting just to see all those, all those groups come in because we really have gotten so many different communities. And we want to mention you have an upcoming event this week. Yes, we do. We have um, an event this Thursday called Reclaim the Red Moving Forward. And so the whole idea is that we need to fight the red zone all year round. So there's this period of time where students are most vulnerable, but if we only talk about it during that period of time, right. we can't stop it. Yes. So, yeah, it's really focused on how we can continue to fight this. All well, right, an mm -hmm. ongoing issue that doesn't need to be. Yes, <laughs> All right. exactly. An important one. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that event, as she mentioned, is at the University of Maryland. It'll be held this Thursday, November 21st, from 5 until 6.30 p.m. at the Grand Ballroom in the Stamp Student Union. For more information, you can log on to umdsga.com and then click the Reclaim the Red link that's at the top.